Let's explore the world of The Handmaid's Tale and its story of struggles and standing up against unfairness. The TV version goes beyond the original book, so we wonder, how does the book end? In the show, when June leaves in the first season and we don't know what happens next, it raises a question. We look at what's similar and different between the book and the show. Also, there's a new spin-off show coming based on the Testaments, which could make the story even bigger. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Hulu's adaptation of The Handmaid's Tale has extended well beyond Margaret Atwood's original source material. While the TV series concluded its fifth season in 2022, the show has considerably broadened the scope of the 1985 novel. This is particularly evident in the expanded role of the main character June Osborne, also known as Offred and portrayed by Elizabeth Moss. Both the book and the show are set in a dystopian rendition of the United States. In this altered reality, a religious group named Gilead assumes control after the Second American Civil War. The original story concludes with Offred's uncertain fate, whereas the TV series takes her journey in new and expanded directions. Depicting a society ruled by a totalitarian theocracy, The Handmaid's Tale focuses on the oppression of fertile women who are forced into the role of the handmaids responsible for bearing children they are not allowed to raise. The TV adaptation garnered significant critical acclaim, particularly in its initial season, which earned eight Emmy Awards. While the show has diverged from the source material, including taking the character June to new settings like Canada in the fifth season after her escape from Gilead, it's worth revisiting the conclusion of the original novel for insight. How does The Handmaid's Tale book come to an end? By the way guys, make sure to subscribe for updates and give a thumbs up to this video. First of all, let's see June's story ends in the same place as season 1. Given the mystery surrounding June's fate, the question about the ending of Handmaid's Tale book is reasonable. While the TV adaptation does make changes to Margaret Atwood's original novel, these changes are primarily motivated by practical concerns. The character of Offred and her interactions receive more depth in the show due to its broader perspective as opposed to the book's limited viewpoint. The show maintains many key plot elements and even retains the ending of its inaugural season. In the concluding episode, The Handmaid's Tale Season 1, titled Night, June makes a significant revelation about her pregnancy. She entrusts the secret in Nick, the Waterford family's driver and the father of her child-to-be. Toward the end of the same episode, an unmarked van arrives, unnoticed by June's commander. Nick encourages her to have faith in him, leading June to board the van. It departs for an undisclosed destination, marking the end of the first season of The Handmaid's Tale. The creators of the TV series deliberately align the ending of the first season with the book's conclusion. This conscious decision aimed to maintain continuity despite the show's plans to extend beyond the book's narrative. The TV adaptation offers a more intimate portrayal of Offred's hesitations regarding the van, her concerns about its occupants and her pregnancy's certainty. Eventually she chooses to enter the van and it departs, leaving her destiny unresolved, echoing the ambiguity of the TV show's ending in The Handmaid's Tale. Next, Gilead eventually falls and June's diaries are found. How did the book, The Handmaid's Tale, end in a way that inspired six seasons of television storytelling? The answer is that The Handmaid's Tale television series simply picks up where the book left off. What happens after June gets in the van is the main variation between the book and the TV versions of The Handmaid's Tale. In The Handmaid's Tale Season 2, June is eventually transferred to the former headquarters of the Boston Globe, which is now serving as a safe house, and the tale continues from there, including her return to Gilead. The end of the book is quite different. After June gets in the van, her story stops, but the book continues in a different way. It jumps ahead to the year 2195 when an academic lecture is happening. The person giving the lecture, Professor James Darcy Pigsalto, talks about what happened in Gilead. He mentions that June's story, even though her name is not confirmed, was recorded on tape. These tapes let future generations know about her experiences. But the professor also says that the tapes don't tell everything about that time, even though they provide a lot of information about it. The epilogue of The Handmaid's Tale is crucial. It reveals that Gilead has collapsed and that the tapes from the past have been found after many years. This implies that society has gone back to being like it was before, where women have had their rights restored. This is shown by a woman named Professor Marianne Crescent Moon speaking at the event, indicating that women can hold important roles again. But even though things seem better, there's still sexism around. Professor Pierre Sorto, who is giving a lecture, makes a disrespectful joke about Professor Moon and doubts Offred's story. This part of the book might appear happier because Gilead is gone, but it's another strong message from Atwood 
about the unfair patriarchal society we live in. The TV show's closest approach to mirroring these events was the letters June received in its first season. These letters, written by the handmaids, aimed to reveal Gilead's reality to the world outside. A similar occurrence unfolded in the second season when the letters were made public in Canada, even though Gilead remained powerful. It's conceivable that the show might create its own variation of the book's epilogue as it concludes its sixth season. Up next is June's fate is left unknown in the book. At The Handmaid's Tale's conclusion, June enters a van without knowing its destination, leaving her fate uncertain. Following this, the 12th Symposium of Gileadian Studies lecture discusses June's story but doesn't offer clear answers. The novel's ending maintains a deliberate ambiguity about June's outcome. Nonetheless, this open ending forms a sturdy base for the show's extended storyline, allowing for a broader narrative arc. As a consulting producer for the TV adaptation of The Handmaid's Tale, Antwood's involvement suggests that many elements within the show might have been influenced directly by her. Her contributions extended to expanding the story beyond the source material, including the inclusion of colonies. Even though she didn't write the TV series, Atwood could have played a part in shaping Offred's narrative beyond the book. Nevertheless, there is a significant potency in the uncertainty surrounding Offred's fate. This absence of a clear resolution empowers readers to make their own choices, to believe she successfully escaped or to consider the tragic possibility that escape was infeasible. And lastly, the new Handmaid's Tale book is getting its own series. In 2019, Margaret Atwood released her latest book in the Handmaid's Tale series titled The Testaments. Many readers anticipated finding an answer to the question of how the original book concludes. However, in The Testaments, June's ending, where she's taken away in a van, as seen in the first season's finale, remains unchanged as her definitive departure. The Testaments expands on June's story to some extent, but her initial ending remains the official one. Instead of focusing solely on June, The Testaments introduces the journeys of three women, one of whom is Aunt Lydia. This new book is set 15 years after the events of the original Handmaid's Tale and features narration by Aunt Lydia, Agnes, and Daisy. It has been recently announced that Anne Dowd is set to reprise her role as Aunt Lydia. The Testaments spin-off narrates the eventual downfall of Gilead and the roles that these three women play in its downfall. Even though June isn't a central character in the new book, there is a reference to her in the epilogue, leading many to speculate that she was involved in the Mayday Resistance movement. While it's unfortunate that The Handmaid's Tale TV series is concluding after the upcoming season, the silver lining is the forthcoming Aunt Lydia's The Testaments, which will provide further depth into the fictional world. Well, that's it for today. With the story expanding beyond the book and a new spin-off on the horizon, what lies ahead for this world of oppression and defiance? Will we ever discover June's true fate, or is the power of interpretation what makes this tale endure?